time. Let's see how we can create a fixed width file with data view component. As we know, Mule 3.7 data view component do not support processing of fixed width file. So this is our Mule Studio. Let's bring in the transform message component here and let's get a sample payload. So this is a JSON list that we will convert into a fixed width format. So let's set that as a sample data for our data view. Yeah, we'll just replace this content. Now we have the sample content. In this transformation, we will use one uh, one global function. So what we would do is in our mule XML, we will create a configuration element and expression language. The global functions that we define here are nothing but a mule expression language functions. Once you write them here, they are available throughout your application. So the function that we define here is write pad. We will pass in the value length and pad character. This will help us to make a particular value to be of some fixed length. Let's say we want a value to ID value to be of length three and it should be padded with some empty spaces. We can do this in data view. So let's go back to data view and see. So let me maximize it and maybe a better view. I'll enable the preview so we know what we are doing. So you can see this is our payload, which is a JSON. So let's start initially we um, I'll just keep the output format as application Java just to see how just to show you guys how the output turns out so let's make it payload and we see our JSON is converted into a Java hash map as it is since it's a list let's um, map the current content so what we will do we will map id to dollar id we will map day from inbound to dollar day and shout to dollar shout so this is where we we can use the write pad function where let's say we want to make sure this our id is always a three character length so we will put value then length and if it is shorter than three let's say we get the id as just zero one then we will pad it with an empty string at the end similarly let's write pad dollar d let's make it four character long and empty space we can do anything if i put like hash here so you can see my original input is MON which is like three characters and since we defined it here four and the padding character is hash it appended hash as the pad character in our output so let's remove that and just keep it a space uh, let's put shout to be a 20 character long and pad it with an empty string again so this this with this plain map now we got our output values so this is how values will be output in our um, file so let's see how we can convert this into a fixed width format so what we will do now we have an uh, this this map where we have already formatted the values so let's use map again what we will do we will create uh, only single element a row in here so this is nothing this is going to be a header in our actual output so the, this map now has only one attribute one property with head value key as row and the value is dollar which will be the whole object so if we look at here in our current java map output we have like a zeroth element then row and row has all the three attributes that we have defined in our payload map okay so what what we want is we want them 
we just want to use the val uh, values not these keys so what we will do is we will map this object map object and we will do dollar dollar and dollar so what this does this map object it basically just created an array of the same keys and values now this object what we will use plug on it uh, sorry not here we will use plug on the values so what plug does is plug if you remove this plug and look at it again so the row object or the row map has id as key and its value so what plug will do is plug will create two arrays one array of all the keys and one array of all the values so if we want array of values we will use dollar and if you use dollar dollar it will give you the array of actually the keys so you would see that as a qualified name but if you output it it will show you that id day and shout the, those values we, we are not interested in keys so what we will do we will just use the dollars to get the array of our values now we have the array so let's join that array with an empty string so as soon as we put the join by now if you look at it we have an array list with a link map so now the value of row is a fixed width string like first three characters are our id next four are your day and the remaining 20 characters would be your shout so this way we have an array list containing the map with our all fixed width value so let's change our output now to csv so this is where we are we have a csv file actually it's not really a csv it has a header this the one that we defined here and the content is all our values so we have this first row second row third row and so let's if we don't want the header let's turn it off so here we are so this is what we have now this is our json input json and this is our output fix width we can put the file if we put a uh, file file outbound outbound endpoint here and save this output somewhere we should see an outbound file so i think i should have a fix width yeah this is how your file will get saved that's all folks thank you